we were at dinner, and, and you said something to me that was a little surprising. You talked about, as a kid, as a kid, that you were a huge fan of Frank Sinatra. And I thought, that's, that's interesting to me, that you would appreciate Sinatra at such a young age. You were like 10, 11? I was uh, 10, uh, 10 when I got interested in Sinatra. And when I was 11, for my 11th birthday, I went to see Frank Sinatra oh, live. You saw him? Yes. And it was amazing. Uh, he came out, and he was old. Uh, yeah. Because it was 1993. Yep. And he was born, you know, 93 years before that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, but he came out, and it was still Frank. You know, I, as sure. an 11-year-old, I said, that's still Frank. Uh, <laughs> he still got it. And, oh, Frank Sinatra Jr. was uh, the conductor of I the orchestra. I saw Frank in, like, uh, Frank Sinatra. Frank, who am I? Uh... <laughs> Uh, in like 94, I think. I think I maybe saw him the next year. And yes, his, uh, his son, Frank Sinatra Jr., conducted his orchestra. Conducted the orchestra. And, and we're not just doing this. He, that's all he did. He would yeah. go like that. <laughs> and he uh, also cleaned his windshield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a Miyagi <Tossed> mess. salad. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of them. What else? What else? We got more. We got more. <laughs> But at one point during the concert, and when I say concert, I mean the 40 minutes that he sang, uh, <laughs> Frank Sinatra went, I gave my son Frank Jr. a job as uh, the conductor of my orchestra. We all applaud. And he goes, yeah, I gave him a job so he wouldn't sit around the house smoking dope. <laughs> <laughs> and my, my dad went, oof. <laughs> oof. <laughs> 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 my dad went, oof. <laughs> That's kind of rough. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I love Sinatra, yeah. uh, and yes, it was weird. And uh, I don't—I I think I found his greatest hits album in a pile of records and started listening to it. And uh, I was—I was an off-putting, strange child. <laughs> I'm gonna say you're a I little... carried a briefcase that same year of school. <laughs> Did you wear a little bowler hat? <laughs> no, but I'm not kidding. I carried a briefcase. Did you really carry a briefcase? Yeah, I carried a briefcase to school. Oh. Yeah. You were beaten horribly, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I went to a... Uh, I was in a sheltered enough environment where it was OK. okay. Uh, but... Um, <laughs> I would put my briefcase up on my desk and, and then open it and take out my homework. And it was, uh, it was very odd. Yeah. Yeah. It all worked out. And I, I would put shaving cream on my face, like a man would to shave, but then I would just wipe it off. Do you have any idea now why you did those things? You look back I, at that time in your life and... Just as now, I wanted to be a man in 1951. <laughs> <laughs>